Pas Lansdorp, who you just saw in John's report, is the CEO and co-founder of Mars One. He joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Why Mars? Yeah. <laughs> and is there a mole on Mars? <laughs> are there cronuts on Mars? Yeah, there are no cronuts on Mars, no moles yet. Okay. Uh, but Mars is, of, of all the places where humans can go next, Mars is the least difficult. It's very complex to go to Mars, but it's, it's less complex than Venus, it's less complex than uh, Jupiter. It's, it's better to create a permanent settlement on Mars than on the Moon. The Moon is very difficult to, to stay for a long time, so Mars is just the, le the least complex. And it's, Mars is the next giant leap for mankind. It's the only place we can go. I, I don't think I'm signing up for this trip, but, but, <laughs> but I, I, there's some people I'd like to sign up for it. <laughs> yeah. um, but, but have you actually picked out a spot where you're going to put this colony? Um, well, we don't have the exact spot yet, but we know whereabouts it will be because you need enough uh, solar power. So you need to be far enough south to have enough energy for your, for your solar panels. And you need to be far enough north because in the, on the equator there's not enough water in the soil. So you need a, a sweet spot between uh, far south and far north to be uh, in the right position. Now, Buzz, you are not one of the people who has signed up because... Well, I, I started this because I, I wanted to go, but my girlfriend's expecting, yeah, and yes. uh, so I'm basically not allowed to go. Yes, yeah. <laughs> nice cop out. Yes, I like that. that. That's very good. That's very good dad yeah. behavior. That's but, the only reason we're having the child. <laughs> <laughs> but we saw in the piece that so far 78,000 people have signed up, and that was 10 days after you've made the announcement. Yeah. I would imagine that you've gotten more applications. Absolutely. They, so, they keep coming in, and, and people the, can still apply. What's the number that you've gotten so far? Uh, I'm not going to tell you uh, the, the number we have now, because we're going to announce that in a, in a nice big press release uh, later on this month, but uh, it's still a steady, a steady amount of people that's, uh, that's applying, and we're closing the application period on the 31st of August. So What do you think, Gail? Okay. Press release or CBS this morning? <laughs> press release, CBS I was, this morning. I was morning. thinking that too, but okay, we'll, we'll respect so, you. So these people ultimately are going to have to go through seven years of training. training yeah. That's right, yeah, we, and the reason is it's not just training. They, we need to teach them all the engineering skills to repair everything, the medical skills to right. help each other, the, the botanical skills to grow their food. But the most important thing is they are on their own mm. uh, for the rest of their lives. This is a per mission of permanent settlement. There's new groups coming every two years, uh -huh. but you need to be the right person to do this. And we need to test that for a very extended period of time. Uh, okay, okay, okay just a second. Gail just, Gail just looked at me like, what? For the rest of their life? It's a yeah. one-way ticket. You're not coming back, Gail. Gail. It's a one-way ticket. How will they communicate with people from Earth? Well, there's communication satellites already around Mars, but we'll send our own uh, dedicated communication satellite. So that means that they will, they will always be able to send uh, email, voicemail, uh, video mail, uh, but they will never be able to have a normal telephone conversation. So Are you going to test that these people sure. actually all who go up that's will right. like each other before they go? Yeah, that, that's really, that is the, the seven years of training is making sure that these groups are the right groups to go together. Yeah. I just want to make sure I understand that correctly, that if you go on this mission, you are not coming back. Yes, and that sounds very dramatic at but, first, but don't it, no, forget. No, it sounds very dramatic, because it is very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't just sound, it is. It is You're very dramatic, but don't, don't forget how, how the Earth was populated. It was done in the same way. People left their families behind forever, and it's only in the last 50 years that you can buy a ticket anywhere. But before that, this wasn't possible, and our oh. our applicants will have the ability to communicate with home. But when you when you migrated to Australia you, from Europe, you could you only be, send a letter. Would you become a Martian? Uh, in time, you would become a Martian because you would adapt to the Martian gravity, so you would lose uh, you would lose bone mass and muscle mass. Okay. So in time, you would not even be able to come back, even if the rocket to return existed. Okay, we just want to make sure people understand that. <laughs> there's no moles, there's no cronuts, and he ain't coming back. Thank you, Buzz. Thank you very much. Thank I'll you very be much. very curious to see how this goes.